And we have new information for you tonight. Big improvements could soon be coming to the Arkansas River Corridor in Pueblo. What exactly those are? That's up to you. New science, Katie Blaze in our Pueblo studio tonight. And an online survey right now, I understand, Katie, that folks can fill out. Yeah, Rob, that's right. That survey went out to the public earlier this month. The goal to get an idea of what's most important to people when it comes to the river corridor. Now, work is already being done on the levee, and with that project, the city has a chance to take things to the next level. Go as big as you can. We'll never get another chance at that levee. Dreaming big. That's what Bob Walker wants everyone to do when thinking about improvements for the Arkansas River Corridor in Pueblo. I just um, would like to see as many people one, give their opinion. With this online survey. I would like the access to be improved, uh, the trail system, just benefit everybody from water users to bikers to people, you know, walkers. What I would like to see is maybe some lighting um, for nighttime, just kind of keep it safer down there. Maybe a changing room because all the kayakers and surfers, you know, you don't really wear your wetsuit on the way to the kayak parks. And for surfers and kayakers like him. Put a hydraulic wave shaper down there. And that's not all. There's been several artists who are interested in the project, obviously. And we're hoping you know, to have art to the, as a part of that. Can we potentially um, do some things with the levee, like create mezzanine levels with ramps and steps, create seating or get people down closer to the water level on the levee side. Just really excited to see what's going to happen. Ann Hurd tells me a public meeting will happen in February. A first draft of the master plan will be presented based on results from the survey. And the goal is to have final designs by October of 2018. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Katie Blaze, News 5.